up mega five stars welcome back to another video this time youtubers edition so guys monique um <laughs> the shay in brooklyn's mother monique she finally opened up about the breakup between her and mike um she says she was having a hard time she does have hard days when she's going through it she also responded to a post that she put up on instagram showing a broken heart but she took it down afterwards she said it was late at night and she was having normal feelings of people you know what people go through the problems that she was having and everything um so a lot of people were saying the broken heart was because of her and my breakup she didn't exactly say that that was for but she was like it was the middle of the night it was late in the night and she was just having some deep feelings and she put up the broken heart, but she took it down. And then she went in to talk about the breakup between her and Mike. So, but the breakup happened months ago. Um, I guess after I did my video and people started talking about the breakup, it sparked something in her to finally come out and talk about the breakup. But anyway, she says she's have, she has her days where um she can't handle it she you know she's upset about the breakup and then she have her good days which is i mean it's normal it's normal to have those type of feelings however i i me personally i don't see how <laughs> you can uh you will have a hard time having a breakup over someone who's around your children's age i just i mean that personally um, I'm not here to bash her or anything, but I'm just saying like, again, what she did to Justin, the things that she did to Justin when he was dating her daughter, I mean, karma, you know, karma happens. And unfortunately, you, you know, you're going to reap what you sow. And some of the things she did, I didn't, appro I didn't approve of. I thought it was, you know, it was out of pocket. And so, you know, she's going through this, but however, I have to say this, um, you know, I do admire her. I do admire the way she um does business for her children, the way she art. She's there for her children. Um, and you know, I do admire her close close relationship with her children. A lot of parents need to have that with their kids. Uh I do enjoy some of her content, some of her videos that she put out. I'm not bashing her, you know, I'm just saying, I'm just talking the real, real. I'm just talking what's reality. And what's reality is I feel like people shouldn't be dating people around their children's age. I'm just, I'm sorry. The brother's in his 20s. I mean, he might be aiming for 30 right now. I mean, I, I think he was around the last time I checked, he was 28. So I don't know. I don't know if, you know, I, that might have been a year ago. I'm not sure. But he's still younger than her. He's still way younger than her, right? And again, her kids are in their 20s. You know what I'm saying? So, you know what I'm saying? Um... And when she got with him, he was even younger than that. You just dating someone around your child's age is just, to me, it's not appropriate. I mean, it's, you're living two different worlds at the moment. You're not even on the same train. <laughs> okay. You on two different waves. Okay. He's going one way. You're going another. He's trying to find his way. You already been there. You did that, done that. You're past that. It's some of the things that you guys communicate about are not going to be the same you know, you're not going to think the same, you know, some things she's already aware of, some things he's just getting to know. I mean, he's in his 20s. He have a whole life to live. I mean, he's, he has more things that he needs to go through and he needs to go through them on his own. And, you know, some things she's not going to understand or want to understand anymore. Although she's been there, she might not want to repeat some of the things that he's going to have to experience in life where he's just learning. And then another thing is he might want someone younger to enjoy his new experiences with. Someone who haven't been there or done things, the things that he's experiencing right now. So it's a lot going with that. She mentioned in one of her videos that someone younger than her you know they don't understand her music you know she's she loves the 90s music some of the music she can't get with here in the 2000s or whatever and like some of the music that she listens to he, that person in their 20s might not you know can vibe to so anyway it's a lot going on there but anyway i felt as though and i called it when they first got together that that wasn't going to last i called it and it's short to end. And again, when they moved to Atlanta, I was like, it's definitely over. I mean, he's going to meet a lot of people in his age bracket 
and he's going to look at a lot of females that's like, whoa, you know, I mean, he's not going to want her, you know, he's, it's just different. So anyway, she's, she says she has her moments and everything. I, I'm just saying like, get over it. Like what you expect? I mean, dating someone in their twenties and you in your forties, like what do you expect? What do you expect from that? What do you, what do you think you was getting from that? She has a beautiful daughter. She does have a beautiful daughter. And she says, you know, she happy about that. And okay, be happy with your daughter. Move on. Like, it's not that hard. It's not that hard, baby. I mean, <laughs> he's, you know, it, it's not that hard to get over. But anyway, so some people it might be, she probably is still attached to him and stuff like that. But baby, you're in a whole different age bracket. You're in a whole different range. He's going... He's beginning, you, you're you ending certain things that he's beginning. I mean, like, no, it's not going to work out. But anyway, she says that she's not interested. People are trying to hit her up now that they know that she's single, whatever. She says she's not interested. She's just not feeling it right now. She's not even, you know, in the mood to entertain the one right now. So she's still, she's still heartbroken. But baby, honey, <laughs> let it go let it go and move on like come on now you got kids you got to teach them to move on you got brooklyn going still heartbroken you know what are you going to teach brooklyn by still being heartbroken over this situation what are you teaching her she needs to get over the fact that you know no i think she might have it i think she finally probably got it right now that justin might not be coming back like he's in love i think she finally got that maybe because in some of the videos that they do, I think she's still naive. I mean, that mukbang that they did, she still was saying that she's going to fight for the person that she loved. And, you know, and her brother trying to tell her, well, what if he don't, he ain't going to never come back. He's on, you know, people telling her, move on, let it go. But, you know, I'm just saying, like, you have to live and you have to set a great example for your children. You have to set an example to be strong, to move on, let it go. You know, I do wish them the best and I do wish um, Brooklyn the best. You know, I want to see her in another relationship and her growing and learn, learn in another relationship, a healthy relationship that she's learned from. You know what I'm saying? Learn how to treat a man. OK, a good man. Learn how to treat a good man. You know what I'm saying? So hopefully, you know, she'll do good with her next relationship. And again, I love their content. I love their family content. I love the videos that they put out. I'm all in. I'll be watching. Yes, I do. But then again, you know, for some of you that might need to know or get a message from their videos, you know, some things in life, they are teaching some people some things in life that you should not want to go through or should not go through. You know what I'm saying? They are teaching some people. So this is a learning experience. And hopefully she doesn't do it again. I don't know. I still see her dating. I still see her might wanting to date someone young again. I'm sorry. I just see that. I just see that. I don't know if she learned her lesson from this. I don't. I don't. Some women are just attracted to... Some older women are just attracted to younger men. However, it's not for them. It's not for them. Find somebody in your age bracket. You know what I'm saying? Because it's not going to work out. Nine out of 10 is not going to work out. I would say about mm, 80% is not going to work out. The 20, maybe. But 80% is not going to work out. So why would take, take it there? But anyway, Mike is out the picture. He's totally checked out, honey. He is totally checked out. <laughs> I mean, wow. That's it is what it is, though. It is what it is. But, guys, did you expect that to happen? I mean, how did you feel about it? Did you see this going this way? Some probably, probably didn't because a lot of people still don't believe that Mike is in his 20s. You know what I'm saying? Because he does act mature. He does look older for his age. You know what I'm saying? He does have some mature aspects about him. But I've seen, I when I was watching him, me being the age that I am, I did still see a little young vibing him a little youngness to him i overlooking the way he look i still see like his maturity level and he's still in his you know 20s like in his, in his the way he's supposed to be at 20 in his 20s you know what i'm saying like get over it you feel me
It's not that hard to get over, honey. Let it go. But anyway, guys, anyway, guys, that's my commentary on that. And let's see what they do next. I'm, I'm enjoying the content, though. I am enjoying the content. Guys, please make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. I'll see you in my next video. Done.